Operation Dragon Slayer has proven effective since its inception three days ago. Today, an estimated 200 pounds of illegal explosives were confiscated from the two markets in Jigo. Those busts led authorities to what they believe is the source of the illegal fireworks, the Poly Ocean Trading Import and Wholesale Warehouse in Harmon. The wholesale rep denied any relation to the company and the sale of illegal fireworks. This is illegal. Inspectors from the Guam Fire Department's Prevention Bureau found firecrackers, bomb crackers, and sparklers inside a white delivery truck parked in the alley. GFD Fire Prevention Bureau Captain Gerard Salahi says they believe at least 20 stores purchased the fireworks from Poly Ocean. We um, came across a couple of places, um, retail stores, and with the assistance of the retail stores, uh, we were able to track down the wholesale point. So t this afternoon, uh, we, we approached the wholesale and we made our observations and we have observed that, um, that the same, the same um, illegal fireworks. The fire departments say any fireworks that are not authorized by the government of Guam are illegal. The fire chief makes a determination of what is illegal when they're not um, pistol caps uh, types or, or party favors of that nature. Anything beyond that uh, if it's marginal, you know, then, then the fire chief can make a discretion and determine if they're way beyond that, then they are just illegal. While the fireworks were confiscated, authorities are now trying to figure out how the truck with California license plates that just arrived on island on November 30th through the port managed to make it in with the contraband undetected. We're hoping that maybe with uh, some cooperation or assistance with uh, maybe customs, uh, the fire and police, uh, we could build a better uh, understanding of what uh, are illegal fireworks. The case was forwarded to the Attorney General's office and the confiscated items were turned into GPD. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Nick Delgado.